Hi, Jenna Skye here, your Sacred Soul Healing Arts Practitioner and Spiritual Life Coach. And I am here today to teach you how to activate your Earth Star and Soul Star Chakra. Now let me tell you a little bit about um, these chakras first. And I'll begin by saying that we are already connected to these centers. And what this is, is our acknowledgement of that connection, which in return strengthens it. And when we are taught to connect specifically to these centers, to the Earth Star and the Soul Star, we allow ourselves to be more open to the energies that it flows through our body. And it helps to naturally begin the alignment process of our chakra system. Um, the chakras that are located on the body. We have a lot of chakra centers, um, but there's seven main ones that are located with on the body. And so when we connect to the earth star and the soul star, we open ourselves up for those seven main chakras to become aligned. So let me tell you a little bit about the earth star chakra first. The earth star chakra is located about a foot beneath you in the earth. Now, there's different ways you can visualize this center. You can visualize it as a ball of energy. You can visualize it as like this crystalline ball. I like to visualize it as a garnet. So this is a beautiful uh, tumbled piece of garnet that I have. And to me, this is the perfect representation of the earth star chakra and it's what I use in my meditation so if you have a piece of garnet I would highly suggest using that as your connection piece for your earth star chakra if you don't have one that's perfectly fine too it's just something extra you can use um, if you're into crystals to help you connect to that energy so the earth star connects us to mother earth to Gaia to our physical planet and is definitely connected to our human existence here on Earth. So it really resonates with the lower three chakras, but it nourishes and provides energy to our entire chakra system. And this is how. So we know when we work on our root chakra, that energy flows down through our legs, right? But it doesn't stop there. The full connection is connecting that down to the Earth star chakra in the Earth beneath you. The earth acts as a natural filter. So as it goes down and travels down to the earth star, it becomes filtered energy. That earth star chakra feeds that earthy energy back into the energetic flow as it comes back up and travels back up into the feet, back up into our legs, to our root center, and travels all the way up, right? So this energy from the earth star it is a nurturing, nourishing kind of energy. Those are my two key words for the Earth Star, nurturing and nourishing. And I think of this center as providing that energy of Mother Earth, that nurturing, nourishing Mother Earth energy, right? So for me, it's that connection of the Earth providing everything we need for our survival, for our human existence here. It is like that motherly connection, that motherly energy that filters back up through us, that helps to nourish, nourish each center. And then as we travel up the chakra system, we'll be connecting to the soul star. The soul star center, I like to use selenite to represent. So if you have a piece of selenite, this happens to be a tumbled piece, which is a little bit harder to find. Um, but whether you have a selenite tower or a selenite wand, you know, any of that would be great. And if you don't, it's totally fine too. These are just the two stones. These are my two keystones that I like to use for the earth star and the soul star. So I recommend selenite to be your stone for your soul star chakra. And so our soul star center is located about a foot above the crown. And this center is pure white, hence why I like selenite. It is that pure white light vibration. The soul star is our connection to our soul self, our higher self, right? In our purest, highest self form. 
it's pretty amazing. So as we connect to this center, we're connecting to our divine self, our purpose for being here, our spirit, our soul. Like what is our soul's path? What lessons are we learning? What is our spiritual evolution here? Why are we here? You know, that is, that is the connection of the soul star chakra. And so when you connect to that energy and you open up that stream and you allow that to filter down, you are purifying and amplifying your energy. And so this is how these two systems work to help bring balance to your chakra centers, okay? So as we go through this meditation, I'll be guiding you to recognize your chakras and then sending your energy down and connecting to the earth star, sending it up, connecting to the soul star, and then completing that circle, that whole cycle of connection and allowing it to just flow. Now, if you'd like to have some extra tools for this, um, go ahead and pause the video and run and get your supplies. Um, if you want to use stones, I do have my stones, I have my sage, I have my special candle that I like to use when I'm doing energy work, which is a seven-day candle with a um, flower of life sticker that I placed on it to represent the connection of life force energy. Um, and these are just part of my practice, what I like to do. So take some time and gather your things, get yourself comfortable. I'm fighting with my torch lighter today. I need some more. I need some more lighter fluid. I like to start with sage just to cleanse the area. Cleanse my energy and start with a clean slate. And I'll pass some to you. During this meditation, you don't need to watch me. You don't need to keep your eyes open. I will just be guiding you through. It's best to close your eyes. You can lay down, sit in a chair, just be comfortable. You know, the more comfortable you are, the more you can get out of your head and really work to visualize what I'm guiding you through. So first begin to close your eyes and take some deep, cleansing breaths. Bring the air deep down into the belly and allowing yourself to fully and completely exhale. As we begin to shift and deepen our breath, we slow it down. We become more relaxed more peaceful, more quiet, more centered, and more still. Start first by visualizing your root chakra, that center located at the base of the spine between the, the tailbone and the pubic bone. That deep red energy of the root chakra. And just focus your intention on being aware of your root chakra energy. When you connect to your root center. Begin to shift the energy up to your sacral chakra, that center just below the navel, that fiery orange center. Just connect to the energies, see how it feels to you. Being aware of its presence within your body.
and continue to shift your awareness further up to the solar plexus that center just above the navel that brilliant radiant golden yellow energy Just notice how the center is feeling to you right now, connecting to its energy. And then shift your awareness up to your heart center, Anahata. I love the heart center. The center of the chest, this emerald green, beautiful energy of healing and compassion. And just notice how it feels. The heart center is the chakra that bridges our physical self to our higher self. It's why we strive to live a heart-centered life. And just notice how the energy of your heart center feels to you right now. And shift the energy up to the throat center. that vivid blue of your throat chakra. And notice the energy here. How's it feeling? Become aware of its presence. And bring the energy up to your third eye chakra. That center located between the brow, a deep indigo. It's like the vastness of space. How does that center feel to you right now? Bring your awareness up to the crown chakra at the top of the head. The beautiful light violet color of the crown chakra. Connect to that energy and just notice how it feels. So you've become more aware of each of your chakra centers. And bring your consciousness to each of their energies. Now begin to send your energy back down, back down through the chakras, all the way down the legs, all the way down to the feet, noticing the energy at the top of the feet, and then bringing it down to the bottom of your feet. And visualize pushing that energy out of the bottom of your feet and into the earth. As if your energy is reaching and growing roots down into the earth, connecting to this ball of energy beneath you. This ball of energy is the earth star chakra. It is your earth star chakra. It is unique for you. Its color ranges from a brown to a reddish brown, but still has an air of clarity to it. Reach your energy down to the center, down to the earth star, and allow it to connect to this ball of energy. And as it does, Imagine the energy of that center coming back up into the feet and allowing it to travel back up into the legs and into the root center and begin to notice what the energy feels like from the earth star, that nurturing, nourishing, motherly energy feeding your chakra centers 
bringing it up to the root chakra, allowing it to nourish that root chakra energy, allowing it to make that center more vibrant, more clear, and then pulling that energy up to the sacral chakra, allowing it to feed that center. And as that chakra becomes more vivid, more open, more clear, continue to pull that energy up into the solar plexus, allowing it to fill with that deep, nurturing energy of Mother Earth. And continuing to pull that energy up to the heart center, allowing your heart to feel more open, more expanded as it's being fed and nourished from that earth star chakra. And continue pulling that energy up to the throat chakra. And continue raising that energy up to the third eye. Visualizing that connection all the way down from the earth star coming up the legs, all the way up the body, up to the third eye and pushing it up even further to the crown. Allowing you to feel more anchored, more stable, more secure in your place here on this earth. That is the power of the earth star. It's a much deeper grounding than the root chakra. It is an anchor. It is your anchor to your physical place in this world. And now that your energies are more nourished and nurtured and expanded, begin to push your energy out the crown of your head, out of your crown chakra, reaching it up to this glowing white orb of energy located above your crown. This ball of energy is your soul star chakra. And allow your energy to reach up and connect to that glowing white orb. And as it connects, begin to pull that pure white light energy down to the crown and feel that connection That pure white light energy is just pouring down into the crown. It feels purifying and amplifying at the same time. And pull that energy down through the crown and into the third eye. Like it's just pouring over each chakra center, allowing this purification and this amplification to just surround each center pouring down from the third eye and into the throat, <sighs> pulling it down to the heart center, connecting to that divine energy, that divine white light, <sighs> pulling it down to the solar plexus, to the sacral chakra, to the root chakra and then sending that white light energy all the way down the legs out of the feet and allow that white light energy to travel through those roots down to the earth star and as that soul star energy reaches down and connects to the earth star something magical happens you might feel it, you might see it, you might sense it, but as you connect that soul star energy to the earth star, this connection shifts and creates a whole new energetic vibration. And it expands underneath the earth, underneath you, and magnifies and intensifies the energy
and begin to pull that energy back up into the feet, allowing it to travel up the legs and back up to your chakra centers, starting with the root, carrying that energy all the way up the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the third eye, sorry, the throat and the third eye and the crown and all the way back up to the soul star. And as you create that cycle of completion, that connection of the earth star and the soul star, they now work in unicism to help create balance through your entire chakra system. Feel how your energy is magnified. Notice the shift that it has created within your energetic system. And check in with each of your chakra centers. Notice how your root chakra feels now. Notice how your sacral chakra feels. Notice the energy of your solar plexus. Notice the energy of your heart center. Notice the energy of your throat chakra. And notice how your third eye feels. Notice how your crown chakra feels. This connection to the earth star and soul star is always there. It's always been there. But now that you have actively connected, you have activated a deeper source to be able to connect to for healing for yourself. If you've struggled connecting with your soul purpose, with your life path, this connection will help you. If you've struggled with feeling connected to yourself here on this planet, this connection will help you. If you've struggled to connect to your intuition, to your higher self, this connection will help you. But most importantly, this connection will help you to integrate all of the healing that you do. When you bring your energy down and connect it, all the way down to the earth star. You are anchoring that energy to your physical self, to your physical body. All the shifts, all the transformations that you have gone through with your energy are now deeply rooted in your physical being. Integration becomes much easier in your physical self when you have connected it to the earth star chakra. This powerful medicine was given to me during meditation to help others activate and attune to the earth star and soul star. This was nothing learned in a book or in a class. This was pure gift from spirit. Connect to these energies anytime you need to, to help you become more centered and focused, 
to help you know your path, to help you in becoming more authentic and living your life the way it was intended. And now to complete this cycle and to come back out, simply visualize those roots coming back into your feet, knowing that the connection to the earth star chakra always remains, but actively just pulling those roots back to your feet, knowing that the connection of the soul star always remains, but now pulling that cord back down from the soul star back to the crown. And allow yourself to sit in this energy, to feel the peace, to feel that magnificent vibration that has shifted. Your frequency, your energetic frequency has shifted, it has changed. Allow yourself to assimilate to that energy by just taking some time to sit in this energy. Allowing yourself three deep breaths. And allowing yourself to come back to this space, to this room, to your physical self, and feel connected to your physical body. And opening your eyes and just noticing how you feel in this moment, how much you have changed and shifted from this exercise. And know that at any time you need this connection, this feeling, you need to recenter, recalibrate yourself. This is the meditation you can use. This connection to the earth star and soul star is your gift of being able to heal and nurture your chakras, to be able to become centered and focused in who you are. I thank you for experiencing this journey with me. May it help you to heal. May it help you connect to the light. May it help you to find your source, your purpose, in your path. That is my wish and my desire for you. And may this help you to connect more fully and deeply to your heart center so that you can live a heart centered life of love and compassion and healing for all beings. Namaste.